Welcome to episode 42 of FIFA 16 San Jose Earthquakes Career Manager Series. We start on the road. Our first road game of the season versus the Chicago Fire. Our meeting last season was a 2 to nothing win. And they'll start in a 4-4-2. Um, Zemanski, formerly of Portland. And we'll be running out... Our number one lineup this time I'm going to give Alashe and Godoy the start at uh, central defensive midfield. But everybody else basically the same. And Munir, I guess, in at, at Cam. But the opening kickoff, Munir gives it to Godoy, plays it forward for Mbolo, back to Munir. Munir holds it up, gets it back, gives a little ball for Mbolo. Mbolo with the left or right footed shot, Johnson makes the save. Munir, or Chicago gets a chance here. Zemanski, he's going to play it forward for Gilberto. Gilberto. Cochran makes a great run on. He has a shot but can't get anything on it, and Massett makes the save. Munir aggressive here in the early goings, enjoying his rare start. Godoy has it. Godoy plays a great through ball for Salinas, whose first touch isn't great, but he fires a shot. Johnson makes another great save. Still in the first. Thrown out from Massip to Salinas. Salinas to Munir. Munir's going to finish crossing the field. Turvest to Odegaard. Odegaard cuts it inside. Makes a great little solo run here. Odegaard cuts into the box. He's going to have a shot. Forcing another save from Johnson. This time from the corner. Salinas will take it. He's going to send it in for a near post attempt. Silva tries to get a header on it, but it's just over the right-hand corner. And then added time. Still trying to get one. Godoy gives it to Salinas. Salinas plays it on for Mbolo. Mbolo on a run. He's taken down on the edge of the box. Referee's going to come running over. And we're going to find out that is a red card for Greg Cochran. And we're going to have a free kick just outside the area as time is expiring. Salinas up to take it. But he just dinks it over. Nothing for Johnson to save that. Start of the second half. Another opportunity here as Munir takes it forward. He plays it for Salinas. Salinas is going to give it back for Munir, who brings it down and just puts it wide. So many close chances this game. It looks like we're going to get one more here with about 15 minutes left. Nyase is going to take it up the near sideline. Cuts it back. He's going to play a cross in. Headed away by Polster, but only as far as Grimaldo. Grimaldo gets it tackled away, but he's going to give it back to Niasse. It finds its way to Mbolo. He's going to fire a shot. Another great save from Johnson. And that's the way the game's going to end up as a nil-nil draw. We'll go and look at the match statistics. But with no goals or no assist in the match... The man of the match will most likely go to Johnson, the keeper for Chicago, with an 8.5 rating. So he played a magnificent game. But we'll do a little bit of training of the youngsters before the second game of the episode. Phil Haber and Moore moving up one rank each. And the second match of the episode is a rematch of last year's finals. This time we will be away at Toronto. That final matchup ended as a 2-1 win, obviously for us. They'll run a 4-2-3-1. They've got Giovinco up top with Chapman, Gale, Bradley, Cheru, Morgan, Kentari, Zavaleta, Bloom, and Hamid in goal. And we're going to run out the same squad as last time. Although they didn't score, um, a chance to give everybody a, a chance to play. I mean, Alashe's played well. Munir played well that game. So we start off on the front foot here in the early minutes. Munir's going to play it forward for Mbolo. 
Mbolo sees the run made by Alashe. Alashe is going to take it in the area. Cuts it back. Gives it to Mbolo. Tack it away, but Alashe is there. His shot forces an excellent save from Bill Hamid. An error by Massive gives the ball to Giovinco. He fires a shot that's say, or blocked by Silva. Out for a corner for Toronto. Sheru will take the corner. It falls to Vanderhorn. He plays it out, but only as far as Morgan. Morgan gives it back to Zavaleta, who gives it to Chapman. He fires a shot that goes just over the bar. Throw in here. Odegaard plays it to Munir. Munir does a nice little solo effort. Takes it into the box about eight yards out, forcing a nice save from Hamid. A few moments later, work our way back from the back up to Munir. He gives it to Mbolo. Through for Alashe. All alone behind the defense. He knows what to do. It. He puts it into the left-hand corner for his first of the season. It's a 1-0 San Jose lead. And then moments later, Munir plays it forward to Mbolo. Mbolo, all alone, fights off several attackers, puts it in the same home corner. Right before halftime, it's a 2-0 lead. Mbolo's third of the season. Toronto try to get one back here in the second half as Morgan plays it in to Shayro. Shayro to Chapman. Chapman gets it to Bradley. So Bradley's going to get it back. After a little bit of dancing, he plays a great through fall for Giovinco, and Giovinco should have done better there. It should be at least 2-1. to one. But in the dying numbers of the game, Alashe is going to play a ball forward for Gooch. Gooch finds Godoy. Godoy plays the ball back through for Gooch, but his attempt is just wide. And we fail to add to our lead. And it's going to end as a 2 0 win for San Jose. So, still an unbeaten uh, mark on the season. And it looks as if Fatai Alashe with an 8.4 rating is man of the match. Goals for Alashe and Mbolo with assist. Going to Mbolo and Munir. But that's all for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.